So 20th of March 2023, we can see my 4K Fire Stick Max has the latest update, which is 7.6.2.4. But watch now what happens when I press the home button. Yes, the home button on my remote. One click and we are instantly taken to a custom launcher. Now, I don't know how long people have been waiting for a fix for this, but as you can see, guys, I'm in my custom launcher. I can open up applications. Again, when I press the home key, one click, and we go straight back into the custom launcher. And on top of that, probably just as impressive, these media keys down here, the ones that we've never been able to remap, the Prime Video or the Amazon Music, as to remap keys normally, you have to uninstall the application. And as we can't uninstall Amazon Video or Amazon Music, we've never been able to remap them. But as you can see on my device, when I press Amazon Music, one click, and it takes me to the background apps and process list. And when I press Prime Video, one click, it takes me to downloaders. So we can now even remap the unremappable buttons on our remote and really just get the most from our device. And once again, when I press home, we go straight back into the custom launcher. So in this video today, let me show you how you can follow this process on all of your Amazon devices running Fire OS 6 or Fire OS 7. And once again, take control of your home screen, where as you can see, guys, no more adverts, no more sponsored content, no more Amazon promoted applications. And I really can go ahead and customize my device exactly how I like it. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now, the heart of this process is the new version of Launcher Manager. Now, I spoke to Sween Wolf a few days ago, who's the developer of this application. And what he's done now with this new version is nothing short of amazing because, as you know, the previous method was blocked by Amazon a few updates ago. But now with this new method, Sween Wolf is using ADB to detect that you are pressing the home button. As soon as it detects that, it then more or less instantly or fairly instantly launches your custom launcher of choice. And he also mentioned another person on XDA, a guy called Fins, who also helped with the testing, some of the log file analysis. So really all credit is due to both of them for coming up with this new amazing fix. Now let me open up Launch Manager, the new version for the first time. I'll take you through what you need to do in the new version. Then I'll show you exactly how you can get this on all of your devices. So let's now open up Launch Manager, which is version 1.1.8. And when you start this for the first time, you can quickly scroll down just to confirm that you are using the latest version. And if you are using an older version of Launcher Manager, he's recommending setting the stock launcher again, uninstalling the older version, then installing the latest version of Launcher Manager. Now for us to actually set up the home button intercept, you want to go to Launcher Options, which is at the top here. Let's click on that. And we can see now you have the old method and he's even written the obsolete because on the latest update, this doesn't work anymore. So I scroll down and we have the new method which uses ADB. So we can see at the moment it's disabled. I'm gonna press the select button and we now go to this menu where we can configure those options. So we can see the first option is set to off. Let's click on that. That's now set to on. And we're now going to turn on the option use ADB for home. Let's click on that. That's now done. And the trigger key we can leave as the default. But if you do have any issues with that, you can try some of the other options, but the default has worked fine for me across all of my Amazon devices. So let's not worry about the shortcut buttons for now. So all I've done is turn those two options on. Let's now press back. And we can see on the left now, it says the current launcher is LM, which is the launcher manager. But what I want to do now is click on the launcher options again, scroll down, we can see this now says enabled and where it says custom launcher options, I can click on that. I'm now able to choose any application to set as my new custom launcher. So I'm going to click here and I can now choose any application installed on my device. Now I've tested this process with the Wolf launcher and also with Project Ivy. So if you do have a preference, 
you can try one of the other launchers. So keep scrolling down. Let's go a bit fast and let's now find the wolf launcher. That's now selected. It says the wolf launcher is now the custom launcher. Let's now press back. And the moment of truth, if I now press the home button, running the latest Amazon update, what happens? So home button press. And we are taken to the custom launcher. Now, if you did notice, there was a second where it went to the stock launcher, but then quickly flicked over. So I've noticed that sometimes you do see the home screen for a split second, but generally you do get taken to the custom launcher very, very quickly. And we're now inside my custom launcher, which I have previously configured. We can see a weather widget at the top. We can see some custom sections. We can see these Fire TV settings, which means I can click on, for example, this one here to instantly take me to the remote control settings. So if you do want a quick way to access your Fire TV settings without opening up Launcher Manager, you can use these shortcuts and I will show you how to install that as well as the new Launcher Manager. That's pretty much it guys. So now for example, if I open up one of these applications, like Me Explorer, opens up fine. If I now press the home button, let's see if this one is instant. So ready, steady, go. That one was instant. So you can see some applications, you do get an instant response. Sometimes you may see the home screen for a split second, but Sween Wolf did say that he was working on another method where instead of seeing the home screen, you'll just get a blank screen for a second, and then you'll quickly see the custom launcher again. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel for all new updates. Okay, so that's the custom launcher now fully working with the home button press. Let's now also remap these media buttons, which previously was a longer process. You had to download a remapping APK for each of these buttons. You also then had to type in some manual commands to make that process work. But now we can see with the latest version of Launcher Manager, go back to the launcher options, go back to the new method. Let's click on that. And now we can see we have these shortcut buttons. So the first thing you want to do is turn this on. Okay, that's now turned on. I had to click on that twice, but that's now turned on. And we can now choose those four buttons, top right, top left, bottom left, bottom right. You can now click on this. So the top right button I have is Netflix. So I'm gonna change that to, for example, Award VPN. Let's click on that. That's top left, which is actually, sorry, Prime Video, not Disney Plus. The bottom left is Disney Plus. I'm gonna make that one the background apps and process list. And bottom right, which is Amazon Music, I'm gonna make that downloader. Okay, so we have four distinct shortcuts. Let's now start with the top right, which is Netflix, which should open up Award VPN. So pressing Netflix, would you believe it now opens up Award VPN? So that in itself is just a superb update with the latest Launcher Manager. Let's try a Disney Plus, clicking on that. Now instantly takes us to the background apps and process list. Let's try Amazon Music. I did notice sometimes this one does actually launch music. I could in that time. Oh, okay, see, sometimes it does actually launch music, but if you press it again, it then takes you back to the application. So you now have a super easy method of remapping all of these media keys without typing in any commands or installing any other application. All of that can now be done through the brand new latest version of Launcher Manager. And again, pressing the home button within one second or less than that takes you to your custom launcher. So really I'm happy that you guys who love the custom launchers now I have a super easy method to launch this again using the home button. So let me now show you how you can get this on all of your devices. So very quickly, just open up Downloader, make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on go. And this will take you directly to my website. Now when you get to my site, just head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines, click on that, Click on tutorials and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get this new version of Launcher Manager for 2023. Let's open that up. Here we are, so custom launcher for Fire OS 6 Plus devices. Keep scrolling down. Here you have the step-by-step -step instructions, how to enable ADB, and underneath all of that, we'll have a few applications. So here is the latest version of Launcher Manager. This is still the latest version of Wolf. This is the Fire TV settings. If you want to create those extra tiles, to access your uh, settings from the home screen, from the Wolf home screen. Here is the other launcher, Project Ivy. And here's another launcher called uh, Leanback. And I've left some links to some wallpapers. So 
If you're just looking for the new launcher manager, you can click on the link here, scroll down, and you're looking for this green download button, and this will download the latest version directly onto your device. And once again, you can now have a super special, super nice looking custom launcher, all accessible with the home button. And talking about special, there is actually a very special offer from IPVanish where you can get complete protection for all of your devices, unlimited bandwidth, maximum speed at just over $3 a month. So really at that price point to get all of that protection, to change your IP address, to hide your online activity, to access geo-locked content, I think that's definitely worthwhile checking out. So do have a look in the video description and pinned comment. Do let me know what you think about this new method with Launcher Manager and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.